Hey Shining Stars, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into our BoxyCharm base unboxing for the month of December. Not only will we be unboxing our variation for the month, we'll also be doing a try on slash review and makeup tutorial. So if you guys want to see any of that, then just make sure you keep on watching. If you're not a part of my Galaxy Glam Squad yet, then please subscribe down below. Don't forget to also hit the bell so you stay updated with me. We do these BoxyCharm unboxings every month and we do have the Lux coming up very soon. With that being said, let's jump straight on into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to get me. A million dollars at the nice. Before we get started, I do just want to mention that I try to be as transparent as possible on this channel. So if you guys are interested in disclaimers, basically how I receive the product and anything else, that will all be mentioned down in the description box below. Any timestamps, product mentions, or links, as well as other ways to connect with me and my BoxyCharm referral link will all be listed in the description box as well. So if you guys are interested, make sure you check that out. If you guys aren't familiar with BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is a monthly curated beauty box subscription. There are three subscriptions to choose from, one being the base, which is the one we're talking about today. Then there's the premium, and then there's also the Lux box, which is a quarterly upgrade to the base. The base box retails for $27.99 a month. There are also some additional taxes and fees, so do keep that in mind, and it comes with five full-size products. We will actually be having our winter Lux box this month, so stay tuned for that if you guys are interested. We'll be having that in the next couple weeks, and there's tons of goodies in there that I can't wait to share with you guys. Now that I've talked a little bit about BoxyCharm and what it is, let's jump straight on into this unboxing so here's our base box for the month and when we open it up this is what it looks like of course we get our fun little pamphlet as always with our theme the pamphlet also lets you know what products you received in your box a little bit more about them pricing and where to find them on social media and this month's theme is tis the season for being extra. The first product we're pulling out the box is the Real Her Set Your Goal Blurring Veil. Now, I originally thought, because the way it sounds, it sounds like it's supposed to be like kind of like a primer, but it's not. It's actually a setting powder. This retails for $25. It features ultra finely milled powders, which melt into the skin to set your makeup in place or to control excess oils. It's completely flashback and talc free to give any look some serious staying power. Now, I love a good setting powder, so I have not set my face. If you guys see, I look kind of like shiny and oily. That is because we didn't set our face yet, so we're actually going to set our face with this. I actually have a real Her eyeshadow palette, and I absolutely love it, so I can't wait to try this setting powder. This is the actual packaging on it. I'm guessing it's supposed to be translucent. It really doesn't say. This is how it looks when you open it. Just gonna go ahead and dump some in our top piece our cover i'm taking the yc collection powder brush we're gonna go ahead and use this to set our face with So this is how the powder looks on one half of my face. I'm gonna do the other half off camera, but just to show you guys the difference, it definitely is a translucent powder, which I'm really liking. I love translucent powders. Some translucent powders say they're translucent or clear, and they're really not, like they still show up as like white or yellow. But um, this one is working very well for my skin. I don't see too much creasing, but I can't really say much for that because we will have to do a wear test on it. I typically don't do wear tests in these videos only because I usually end up washing my makeup off after I'm done with the video and my photos and my content for the day. But if you guys are interested in seeing a wear test, then please let me know. But again, this is how it looks. It did also seem to mattify, but not completely mattify. Like it still leaves a nice glow to the skin so i'm really liking this powder it's very pretty and i feel like it did blur out some of my texture a little bit so i will be using this so we're more. about to jump into our next product but before we do in case you guys are interested in what i used off camera we finished off setting our face with the powder for blush we used the black radiance beauty artisan color baked blush in shade warm berry 
brows we used the la girl brow pomade in soft black to set my concealer base we used the kiss new york pro full cover concealer this is the pro touch concealer in shade 310 sun beige and to set our contour we used the ofer cosmetics meaty face it palette this is in the shade medium and for the actual color for our contour we used the san fran shade which is this one right here now jumping into our next two products because of course they go together we got some eyeshadow brushes and a palette this is the LaRousse Beauty Special Edition three-piece eye brush set. I have used LaRousse Beauty brushes before and I absolutely love them. So I can't wait to try these out. I can't wait to see how they look as well. This is an exclusive drop from LaRousse Beauty and it's $38. On our pamphlet, it says apply, blend, and smudge your favorite cream and powder eyeshadow formulas and slay your favorite looks with these essential brushes. Of course, they have to have the signature packaging. The brushes I have have a white brush top and a gray handle. This one actually has a burgundy kind of maroon colored handle along with the rose gold tip. They're usually in silver, the ones that I have at least. And then they have the gray brush top. So these are the three brushes. This is the, how the handles look and I'm in love. The aesthetic is so there. They are really pretty. And we have a shadow brush. We have a tapered blending brush as well as a detailed blending brush. And then for the palette, this is the Dominique Cosmetics Unconditional Palette. It retails for $28 and the aesthetic Along with the brushes, it's just a whole vibe. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to use them together. Like this is gonna make me wanna use the brushes and the palette together all the time, just because they look so like, the color aesthetic is just so there. They're so much alike and I'm obsessed. It says colors you'll adore for the moments you'll cherish. This palette includes six warm buttery shades, ranging from rosy hues to rich burgundy. With a mix of shimmers, mattes, and even a glitter finish, you can create endless looks for all the gatherings and fun events ahead. Ultra pigmented, super blendable, and perfect for those days and nights. So on opening the palette, it says, love the moments, you'll cherish the memories. I think that's such a cute idea to put something like that in the packaging. So when you open it up, you just see it right there. And it also has the shades on the back. But I did want to say, when I first opened this up to unbox it for the reel I did on Instagram, I thought this palette was going to be like a $50, $60 palette because the packaging alone looks just so luxurious. And usually whenever I do see palette packaging like this, uh, it's usually more on the high end side. So I was really surprised that this was only $28. I can't wait to try it and see how the pigments work. But this is how it actually looks. It has like this kind of like glass finish on the top. It's not glass, it's plastic, but it looks kind of like glassy like. And then on the back, it's more like matte. It has like the sticker thing on it. And then what's really cool about this palette too is that it's magnetic. It's not one of those clip closures. As you guys can see, it just automatically closes. So that's really cool. And it comes with the compact mirror, which is something I'm a diehard fan for. This is the color story of the palette. I really do like it, it's pretty, and I love, love, love that you get at least a one glitter in there. I don't see too many palettes with an actual glitter in it. It's very few that I find. They always come with usually like shimmers and mattes, of course, but it's nice to have that option of a glitter in there. And this looks like a palette that's great for the holidays, especially like I said with that glitter, you have some nice like smoky shades. So now let's jump straight into a look. I'm really not sure what I'm going for today, but let's just go ahead and go for it. Like said, I have already set my eye base, but I am gonna just go ahead and make sure there's no creasing going on. So we're gonna go ahead and blend it out again. First brush I'm gonna take is the tapered blending brush from the LaRousse Beauty set we just opened. And we're gonna take the shade Warm Hearted, which is this one right here going to use that for our transition shade and work it almost all the way up to the brow bone and on the outer V.
Next on the same brush, we're gonna take the shade Corazon and we're gonna use that to pretty much fill out the rest of the brow bone. We're gonna blend that shade out. Using the same brush again, we're gonna jump into the shade Jaden and we're gonna use that right on the outer V to deepen up the look. Off camera real quick, I went ahead and cut my crease almost all the way. We're gonna jump back into the Jaden shade, which is that deep reddish burgundy shade. We're gonna use that and basically put it in the same area of the outer V to blend out the concealer a little bit. Now we're gonna jump back into the shade Warm Hearted and we're gonna use that right on the middle of the lid. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into our shadow brush from the LaRousse Beauty set and we're gonna go into the shade Corazon. We're gonna use that to finish up the eyes pretty much in the front. We're gonna lay that down over the concealer that we still have on. Going back into the tapered blending brush, I'm just gonna use the brush. I didn't put any color on it. And I'm just gonna blend out everything so each color blends into each other very smoothly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take that brush and go back into Jaden, which was that deep red we used, and go ahead and blend the outer V a little bit more. Going back into our shadow brush, we're gonna go ahead and take the shade Eternal, which is the glitter in the palette. And we're gonna pretty much lay that on the first two shades we used for the lid. Now we're taking that glitter shade and we're just literally going to tap it very slightly and bring it over to the burgundy. Not all the way over, but we do want everything to blend. Basically, just like that. Now I'm taking the last brush from the LaRousse Beauty Collection and this is the Detail Blending Brush. We're not going to use it as a detailed blending brush because I don't want to smoke out today. I am actually going to clean up this outside after we're done. But for the inner corner highlight to make everything pop since it's such a smoky look, we're going to take this brush and dip into Love and Light, which is this one right here. And again, we're going to use that for the inner corner highlight. Now I'm taking some concealer. You can use the eyeshadow brush or you can use a concealer brush, whichever one works better for you. I'm using more of a dense, short bristled uh, eyeshadow brush for this. And I'm just gonna clean up and cut this outer color right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with another brush. To soften up that line just a little bit, we're gonna go back into the first brush we used, the tapered blending brush, and we're just gonna like kind of dab that color out. If you do get the shadow a little further out than you wanted to, you can just take the last brush you used to blend out the concealer, go back in and blend that out. From there, you can go back into your powder brush I'm gonna go back into the Real Her setting powder and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this to set that concealer that we just laid down near the eye. We're almost done with the look. Off camera, I did go ahead and do some things. So for lashes and lash glue, I used the Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive in Clear from I Envy by Kiss. For lashes, we used the Luxury Mink Lashes in Style Scarlet from Dollar Lash Club. If you guys are interested, I am an affiliate with Dollar Lash Club. So you can use my code at checkout to get money off your purchase. It is Midnight Moon. It will also be linked down in the description box below. For liner, we used the Luna Liner by Sarah Fine Botanicals. 
for mascara we did the big lash mascara from ruby kisses cosmetics to brighten the waterline up we use the double take awake micro liquid liner and brightener of course we only use the brightener side this is from tarte cosmetics and for highlighter we went back into our ofer cosmetics palette the meaty face it palette and we used the shade rodeo drive we put some on top of our brow bone we added some on our cheeks nose cupid's bow chin and a little bit on the forehead and then for the lip liner i did smudge it out but we used the italia deluxe makeup ultra fine lip liner in shade deep purple we outlined and then filled in the outer corners and then blotted blotted until we got that blend that you guys see right here now we're going to jump into our second to last product in our boxy charm base box this is the last makeup product and this is the Serafine Botanicals Permesian and Plump Glass Finish Lip Glaze. This is what it looks like, and this retails for $24. It says a lip treatment and gloss hybrid that gives you a wet vinyl glass-like shine without all the stickiness or heaviness. With the base ingredients being a proprietary blend of castor bean oil, rice bran oil, and a plant-derived liquid resin. This lip glaze not only visibly plumps lips, but protects them from dehydration as well. So I've gotten my hands on a few Serafine Botanicals products. Like I said, we did just use the liner, which is a favorite. I'm going to have to get a new one soon because it's drying out on me. Um, I did also get their Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Palette. And I am obsessed with that. And now we have their Permesian and Plump Gloss. I think I do have another Serafine Botanicals product, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, this is the packaging on the lip glaze. This is in the shade wet skin so let's go ahead and try it this is the applicator it doesn't really smell like anything there's no like fragrance or like nasty smell to it but just off first application I love it it gives like a nice little shimmer I like how it has that like little bit of shimmer into it, but it's not like a shimmer where it's going to change the color. It's more of a shimmer that kind of brings out the color. If you guys can see it, like I said, we used the shade deep purple for our lips, for our liner. And you guys saw how it looked before. It really didn't change the color. It feels really nourishing and hydrating on the lips. I don't feel like any tingliness like some plumpers can, but I probably won't feel it for a few minutes if there is some type of plumping effect in here. But I absolutely love this stuff. I love that shine it's giving. It really does make the lips look plump without giving the actual plump effect. It literally looks like wet skin, hence the shade name, but literally looks like wet skin. Like I just came out the shower and it's just dripping water on my lips and I love it. I'm here for it. Let me got let me know what you guys think about this. I'm obsessed though. Another favorite Serafine Botanicals product. This is also cruelty free and vegan. There's no parabens and it's also made with star fruit and pomelo extracts, which sounds pretty good. A lot of like good fruit, natural extracts, nothing like too extra in there. Now we're gonna jump into our last product. This is pretty much the final look and I'm here for it all. It's giving New Year's glam. The last product we have in our box is this baby right here. And this is the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. This retails for $89. And unfortunately, I won't be using it because if you guys aren't new to my channel, you know I am pregnant and retinol should not be used during pregnancy. So if you are pregnant, do keep that in mind if you don't know. So I will be hosting a giveaway. I'll be putting this in one of the giveaways. I have so much stuff to give away, guys, but I probably won't be doing it in the near future, like in the next month, maybe two months, because we've been prepping for the baby, trying to get all the stuff out the way, and it's just a lot going on. So I probably won't be doing any giveaways anytime soon but definitely stay tuned in the new year because i do want to do a giveaway on our pamphlet it says prevent and reduce the look of wrinkles all around the eyes including lids with patented retinol triactive technology for potent yet gentle results all ages and sensitive skin welcome helps minimize the signs of aging you can see and the ones you can't see yet 
provides 24 hours of hydration to reduce dryness as it instantly brightens, delivers an instant dose of retinol and a dose of retinol over time to minimize irritation and prolong benefits. Now, I actually do have a Murad product from an, a BoxyCharm. I don't even remember when, guys. You guys know I have so much skincare in my collection that I haven't been able to touch everything yet. And it starts to shelf life if you do open it up. So I try not to open my products until I'm ready. But we did get their AHA and BHA exfoliating cleanser, which I'm gonna probably be using soon. And I can't wait to try them. I heard they're such a great brand. And I like that they also tell you um, the steps on the actual packaging. Like if you're new to skincare, or don't really know much about it, uh, it does say the step, what step you should use this in. So this would be your step two. And you can use this AM and PM, but do note retinol shouldn't be mixed with like ingredients like vitamin C. Uh, also, I believe AHA and BHAs because retinol is already an exfoliator. So you're kind of like over exfoliating. There's some other ingredients you also shouldn't be mixing it with. So like if you're going to use retinol, try to use it at the end of the night and try to use it without all those other ingredients um basically any actives and like i said i will be giving this away so i'm not going to go ahead and open it or anything i just wanted to show you guys the packaging i'm going to go ahead and let you guys know the value of this box as well as my final thoughts and first impressions of the product for december the value of our box this month is 224 dollars I say this in every single video and I will continue to say this in every single video. It's definitely worth the value. You're paying $27, maybe 30 with taxes and everything a month for five full size products. You would probably get in the store for the actual price that says on the pamphlet. In our base box, we got the LaRousse Beauty three piece eyeshadow brush set. Again, this was a exclusive drop. We got the Dominique Cosmetics Unconditional Palette. We got the Real Her Your We got the Real Her Set Your Goal Blurring Veil Setting Powder, as well as the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum and the Seraphine Botanicals Permesian and Plump Glass Finish Lip Glaze, which I'm obsessed with. I would have to say I don't think I have a favorite in this box. Um, there was a lot of good stuff in here. The palette, onto my final thoughts, the palette was very blendable, very pigmented. The glitter, I was actually super surprised in because I've tried some palettes with glitters and the glitters usually always, because I've tried some palettes with glitters and literally I think every single palette that I've tried that had a glitter in it, the glitter never stuck. Like you actually had to use some type of glitter glue or eyelash glue to make the glitter stick but this palette the glitter in this palette stuck with so much ease especially using the LaRousse beauty brushes the LaRousse beauty brushes were super soft they helped blend everything out very nicely and i just love the aesthetic of it back to the palette the palette was beautiful both the color story and the actual palette itself the setting powder definitely a favorite again I, I don't have one favorite everything's my favorite in here pretty much um because the powder really did give that translucent finish it didn't take away too much like it didn't make my like it didn't make a it didn't make my complexion look like a different color like a yellow or a white even though it is says it's transparent like said some powders i've tried aren't the 100 percent truthful transparent and it didn't and it worked beautifully with all the other products. It worked nice with the setting spray, all the products I used underneath it, my concealer and everything. And my skin just looks flawless. I love it. It definitely did blur out some of the texture I have because I am acne prone and obsessed. And then last for the Seraphine Botanicals Lip Glaze. Y'all know how I feel about that, but I'm gonna say it again. I am in love. I love the glass wet finished look it's giving and it definitely does give that plumper effect without the tingle there's absolutely no tingle in this um it's just it's gorgeous it's gorgeous and it looks beautiful over lip liner i'm pretty sure it'll look beautiful alone if you want to just use it as a regular lip product when you're going out with bare skin and like I said i'm obsessed i love this box 
it's my birthday month honestly <laughs> this is like a little gift to me so i'm obsessed honestly it's my it's my birthday month so this is like a little gift to me because i've had a bunch of favorite boxes in the past but i would honestly have to say this is gonna be my absolute favorite so far um up to date this is my favorite 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 box i loved all the products completely five stars type thing going on here and yeah y'all just gotta go get a boxycharm subscription and again if you and y'all just gotta get a boxycharm subscription and again use my referral link it'll be linked down in the description box below with that referral link i do earn a small commission to help support my channels so just keep that in mind but there's no additional cost to you so thank you for your support if you do decide to use this queenie's about to i always say this as well but one product in here pretty much pays for the whole box the murad eye serum retinol eye serum literally pays for the whole box it's 89 dollars, so you get your money worth with these boxes and they're always curated to you you might not love every single product in here but i honestly think it's always worth the value because you always get to try something new try something different and there's different items in here so that is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please show your support give this video a huge thumbs up Leave a comment. Let me know if you liked the look we created today and also share it with friends and family. This is how everything turns out. If you're not a part of my Galaxy Glam Squad yet, then what are you waiting for? Please subscribe down below and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Again, we will be having the BoxyCharm Lux this month in another week or two. So stay tuned because I'm super excited to show you that one and I'm super excited to try out the products in that one. With that being said, you guys keep on being the beautifully awesome shining stars you are. Keep thriving in a world of beauty and I'll see you in my next video. Later, babes.